Now we are, let's say, at the half of our pathway for building our uh, ROS control for our 6 axis robot model in uh, URDF. Um, we have created uh, our transmission uh, tag for each joint uh, and uh, we have put uh, our uh, gazebo plugin. Uh, now we have everything we need uh, to create uh, our configuration file where we are going to put uh, our uh, controllers. And uh, since uh, that uh, it is uh, a quite complex uh, robot uh, with uh, uh, six uh, joints uh, and uh, uh, more than uh, six links, uh, I think that it is a good practice to, to simplify as much as possible our model in such a way that uh, we can uh, focus uh, on uh, the uh, joint, con joint controllers and uh, its uh, uh, parameter uh, to uh, tune, uh, which will be, you will see in a moment, uh, uh, the uh, PID uh, values. So uh, what we're gonna do is uh, to comment out uh, all the link that uh, we don't need. So we're gonna comment out uh, uh, the links from uh, the links uh, 3 on, as well uh, as uh, uh, the joint uh, um, from uh, the uh, link 2 and uh, link 3 uh, on. So after this simplification uh, what uh, we're gonna have is uh, the base link, uh, the link 1 and uh, the link 2 and the joint that we're gonna have is uh, the joint base link link 1 which is responsible for the revolution of uh, the link 1 along the longitudinal axis of the base link and then uh, the link 1 link 2 joint which is responsible of the revolution of uh, the link 2 along the edge of uh, the link 1 Okay, we have uh, simplified our model and let's spawn this new robot in the environment and we can see now that we have only three links, the base link, uh, the link 1 and the link 2, as well as uh, the two joints, base link link 1 and link 1 link 2. If we press play, we're gonna see that the link 2 is going to fall down. Uh, this is the same behavior that uh, we have uh, seen so far with uh, uh, all the joints uh, of our robots. Okay, so if you think nothing changed from uh, um, the last uh, view. So now we can start to make the configuration of these two joints. I remember you. The joints that we are going to configure are base link link 1 and link 1 link 2. So in the config folder we are going to create a new file and we are going to call it joints underscore controllers dot yom. Okay, here we go. First of all, uh, we're gonna put uh, um, the namespace of our robot, uh, which is uh, uh, Cobot. This is because uh, uh, we are gonna set all the uh, joint controllers to the Cobot robots. And everything that I'm going to code from now on are referring to the Cobot robot, or better, the Cobot namespace. So first we need to publish all the joint states. So we need the joint state controller, semicolon, and then the type of this joint state controller is gonna be 
joint state controller. Um, if uh, you remember at the beginning of this tutorial, uh, this is uh, the dependencies uh, that I wanted you to add to your CMake list and the package file. And for this, uh, uh, we're gonna set up a publish rate of 50. And then uh, we need to make the position controller and set up our PID. Um, so we can call uh, the first controller joint one position controller the type uh, is gonna be effort controllers uh, joint position controller so if we set uh, a type uh, of a controller of a certain joint effort controller slash joint position controller this uh, convention meaning that we are going to pass as an input from the software a joint position and then the software will translate this position into an effort controller so the motors that we're gonna have as an hardware will receive an effort input so the software will take as input the joint position controller and will give to the output an effort values that will be passed to our hardware or better our motor that will be in that joint and the joint that uh, we are gonna put in the joint one position controller is the first one that is gonna be the base link underscore underscore link one that we have already model and we have our transmission tag for this joint and last we need to put our PID value which I remember you that stands for proportional integer and derivatives we are gonna put um, first guess value um, as um, proportional um, 700 integer uh, 50 and derivatives 70 this value will be tuned during our simulation thanks to our accuracy reconfigure package but this is something that we will talk afterwards so what we're gonna do now is uh, to make uh, the joint two position controller as we did before so we just uh, um, change the name of the joint uh, which of course will be link one link two and then for the moment we just keep uh, the same values of the proportional integer and uh, derivatives values and we're gonna keep uh, the same type of uh, controller that is gonna be a for controller joint position controller and now we have set up or better we have configured our first two links and we have add of course the joint state publisher so what uh, we're gonna do now is to create our launch file that spawn not only our robot but all the configuration of each joint so we need to pass as a parameter of this package our yom file 
which is something that uh, we're gonna do in the next video where we're gonna deal with the launch file.